Hey everyone, this is Dan and today I'm going to be doing uh, another commentary as we have on the top left side the Muslim as uh, the blue turn player and on the bottom right we have MVP Tails as the red Protoss player and uh, as you all know the baiting is always take a first minute everybody keeps uh, droning up or droning up with the SCVs and probes to get those beloved life-saving crystals and uh, let's talk about something else before they actually get started. I actually released today the Max Payne 3 review. And uh, it was actually pretty interesting. It was one of the first uh, video reviews I did. Usually I review the game while showing the game itself. But uh, this time I decided I'd just review the game by talking about it. Instead of actually showing the game and cutting up pieces of it. And it turned out pretty well. So if you guys have some time, why don't you check it out. And uh, anyways, let's get back to the game. We have uh, the Muslim putting down his uh, supply depot, so I presume he might come up with a bunker. Or no, he's moving actually away. He's probably going to place the barracks here. Yes, he will place the barracks here. And probably uh, waiting for the 150 resources. There we go, 150. Put the barracks down. Did he waypoint and he directly waypointed back to the crystals. This is just to get that additional uh, two or three whatever minor crystals in the beginning. Just that additional boost so the SCV doesn't have to walk from very far here. Here comes the scout scouting SCV from... The Muslim, let's take a look at Tails. Tails also sending up that probe to put the pylon on the side. The pylon usually on the top left side is, uh, of course, a good way to increase your uh, supply block, but as well keeps uh, gives you that uh, range or that visual range that you can see those annoying drops, especially from the turn player, since you know the turn player will sooner or later do those uh, medevac drops, so it's good to keep that in mind. Here comes uh, the Muslim's SCV coming in for uh, the scout. You'll probably actually be able to make it. There is nothing really up. Only the first gateway from MVP Tails. And he's already producing that first Zealot unit. We have the Cybernetics core, so we should expect some research coming online for MVP Tails. A secondary command. No, actually the command center is morphing. And we have the actual Zealot being chrono boosted and the scout coming in. He's uh, moving back out from the Muslim. He's gonna slightly delay the secondary nexus coming up from MVP Tails. Is he gonna charge in with the Zealot? No, the Zealot just moves up. Secondary, here comes the secondary uh, command center online. This one has been morphed, so I do presume the mule should be coming on down here. It comes just a little late, a little bit of missed micro by the Muslim, but you know, I guess he was dealing with other things. And uh, probably moving around, yes. He's probably dealing with this uh, probe. Here, down here, he's just trying to delay the Nexus from being dropped. Well, the moment the Nexus drops, then this whole thing is pointless. Will the Nexus drop? Here comes the Zealot. Nexus drop. He should retreat, I believe, now. Should. There's really no point in getting that done. Bunker coming down, probably beside the command center. Yeah, and there it is. Beside the command center. Two uh, Marines already going to be loaded up. We have a secondary barracks coming online, so it's two barracks. Pretty early on in the game. Surprisingly nice. Zealot moves back, so no scouting from... MVP Tails, all he got was the bunker and the secondary base, that's all he really needs to know, so he knows exactly what's going on in regards to the Muslim Tails, knows that he's on his secondary base, so he can also take his time and, and get his own things going. Now we have the first entry coming online, we have the warp gate research for the first gateway, and there it comes from the actual uh, cybernetics core, two gateways, so it is a three gateway. Push, I believe so. Here comes the probe. This is really interesting. I do believe this probe is going to be for uh, that push. It depends, or he'll just be placing pylons on uh, backup positions, or he'll actually place them on forward positions. It'll be really interesting to see where exactly he'll be placing that pylon. We have the first stalker coming online, and of course, the secondary command center for the Muslim is morphing nearly completed. It should be done really soon. We have, of course, the reactor coming online as well, so we can produce those uh, double marines pretty easily, and we have the tech lab for that. Uh, Marauder is going to be trained out from this barracks itself. Otherwise, nothing really happening. We do have uh, the probe here. Yeah, here comes the forward pylon, so we should see some harass. I don't know if the units... Here comes uh, a scout from the Muslim. Will he actually be able to see with the secondary scout anything? Here come more units should be in production, actually, you know. Everything is morphing in to warp gates, so they should be nicely warped in to that pylon being set up. Here come the units, here comes the push out. I do believe that CV did see the units, yes he did. He did move back and of course we should see some bunkers. Stimmer search coming online as well. So we have two more bunkers coming online, of course, uh, that SCV did see it. SCV will be taken out. They are moving actually pretty well. Here comes the probe, probably going to be placing down another pylon down here. Maybe up. Here come the four stalkers. Uh, that a bunker will it be completed. I do believe it will be completed. The stalkers moving in. SCV is moving down to repair the bunker. The bunker is, is being repaired, yes. 
bunker is being repaired by the SCVs. Here comes the center. Sentry push down four steel. Stalker, uh, SCVs have to move away so they can't repair. The bunker will drop. Stalker's moving up to the top left side. I do believe this is actually the Achilles heel of Optimus King as the bunker can reach and the unit's position here. He's going to have to be forced to move away to the command center or come back with another push. But look at all that downtime coming from uh, the Muslim re and BP Tails really having an advantage. Yeah, there it goes, the command center moving back. Stim research three quarters of the way through. More marauders got to come in in regards to the stalkers. I do believe the stalkers will be dropped sooner or later. The amount of marauders will be more than enough to take care of these stalkers themselves. The Muslim should, I mean, MVP Tails should keep. I don't know why he moved. Why he moved back? He should have just stayed there. All that downtime would have been a great advantage. He should have kept those units there. The longer he kept them there, the better. He could have pushed out later. I guess he was just being a little nervous. MVP tells that actual the Muslim would have enough units to take care of it. So pretty interesting to see that the robotics facility is coming online in regards to and the twilight counts for MVP tells. So we should see the first observer coming online. Will the supply depot drop? They will drop supply block. Two more, I believe. First supply. Depot coming online, and the second one, of course, should be there to increase the supply depot further. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Yeah, there it is already. Second supply depot. Stim research is going to be complete now. Weapons level one is online as well, and we do have. Where was it? Where was it? Yeah, here it is. The Twilight Council. So there's going to be pretty interesting play from MVP Tales. More assimilators, more pylons. We're really going pretty gas heavy straight in the beginning, so we should see uh, a good push from. MVP Tales here is the star portal, obviously with a hot hot swap from the factory. I don't know why the factory isn't going for scouting though. He just left the factory here. He just couldn't be bothered to move the factory out itself. Otherwise, blink research coming online for the stalkers, so they should be blinking around the map pretty easily. And we do have the combat shield level one and the weapons level one. Two medevacs, as we said, from the star fa from the. Uh, I can't even speak now. What the hell was I saying? From the star port, and uh, we have the missile. I thought it's pretty good actually. It's uh, against those dark templar, of course. In case you'd want to use any air units, but the majority of wise it is against the dark templar. So here comes a secondary pylon. Oh my god, we have we have three more gateways coming online. So it is going to be a six gateway push from MVP Tails. Pretty interesting to see a blink research nearly complete. Two more barracks coming online. So we do have how many do we have? We have uh, five racks for the Muslim. Still churning out that bio, not really switching into anything else. He is going for that bio. Here comes that small little push from the Muslim. The Muslim knows he has to push back, especially since all that downtime happened with his units. Stimmed up units move forward. A very nice force field placements uh, do distribute uh, those uh, bio units to push back, especially when you have ranged units versus the bio. The Muslim knows he has to move back since you force field them off. You do have an advantage in regards to MVP tails with those stalkers. You have a great advantage. And he does take, I do believe he actually set a routing point here for the medevacs. They will be dropped, yes. Blink on the way with the stalkers. Dropped one medevac. Really miss micro from the Muslim. He's moving up. The Muslim knows he really needs to take the high ground to have an advantage in any any whatsoever way in regards to this since the stalkers do have a long range advantage. Will, will the force field come down by the sentries? No, just one force field comes down. And he does decide to retreat. More medevacs coming, I think, oh yeah, more units being streamed down. He did take out, I do believe, one medevac. Again, he has them actually routed here. I don't know why he just doesn't change the routing path of those medevac units. Why don't we just take a look at that? Where exactly does he have them routed? Okay, now he changed the medevac the start port routing units to a different position itself. Do we have a third base coming online? I do believe third base coming online. The probe is waiting for those minerals. Here it comes, 400 received. Down comes third nexus coming online. We do have the weapons level 1, of course, and the armor, and we have the zealot charge. Concussive cell as well for those marauders, so it should be pretty good in regards to marauders themselves that they can actually slow the units down. We do have the Templar archives down, so here comes the Templar archives down. Uh, the medevacs obviously giving uh, vision to the high ground, so they should take out the second pile line as well, and even these stalkers. These stalkers should be really careful in regards to the actual units. Here comes a push, a small little, actually not even a push, a uh, retaliation. You could say, oh my god, one stalker, second stalker drop. He just blinked them out in just the last second. Here comes uh, the push in regards to the Muslim. He will drop this base if he won't cancel. Yes, it gets cancelled. Very nice play from the Muslim. He actually might be even catching up in regards to resource-wise. Let's why we just take a look at that economy-wise. Well, not really, but he's going to get there sooner or later. Is he going to push in? Is he going to push in? This is pretty, pretty nice. Uh, very nice force with placed down by the sentry. He's going to force uh, the Muslim to hold back. He really has no choice but to wait for the force wheels to drop. And all that time, of course, MVP Tails will be droning up or getting those gateway units up as quickly as possible. 
Will he actually? Two more gateways coming online. I don't know if he's actually going to be building those colossus. You should see that. Here comes the stem. He steamed up the units. He did retreat, though. I don't really think he's really confident in pushing. This is pretty, pretty decent uh, Protoss ball. Even though he does have the upgrades 1 1 and uh, the Protoss. Oh, the Protoss also have 1 1, so he should push out MVP does. That's an advantage here. Stim units really counting, as you can see. They really have no other way against it, these zealots that are charged up. Very nice kiting from the Muslim. He really does take out quite a lot of those relic units. And he does should retreat. He is losing in regards to the battle itself. All those medivacs dropped, really. Such a waste in regards to those medivacs. Even though the, the bio ball is pretty... Oh my god, that was the last team. Very nice force. It splits up the bio ball. The bio ball really heavily damaged. He shouldn't have seen it up the last second. Here comes the push. He's going to drop them pretty quickly. MVP details killing off those uh, marauders. Everybody else should be retreating. The Muslim retreating. He realizes he cannot win. He is running for his dear life. More medivacs streaming across uh, the place, including more bio units. This is pretty interesting push in regards to MVP details and his retaliatory approach. All those medivacs dropped. Really, this is such a micro from the Muslim, all those units have dropped. Well, the reinforcements from the Muslim actually give him the upper hand in taking out the tiny little, you could say, a reversal from MVP Tails. MVP Tails deciding that's it, he's gonna pull back and regroup on his base side. The third Nexus again coming up. Will he let it to actually deploy this time? And of course, the third base coming up for the Muslim. And you have the morphing again in play to have those beloved mules that increase uh, that resource line really importantly pretty interesting to see we have the weapons 2 coming up and we have an immortal coming up for mvp tails this is pretty nice and we have the engineering bay of course we have the armor so we should perceive and see that uh, the armor and sorry the weapons level 2 and the armor for the entry should, should be coming up in regards to the armory that's why he's getting that built again the medivacs what a waste we have our constant play Two medivacs dropped again. I don't know why he just doesn't change the rally point of the starport. Now he did. He changed it here. Seriously, I don't know how many medivacs he lost. I think he really might have lost around, I don't know, four, five, six medivacs. Here come more units being streamed in. I do believe that this Nexus might actually hold up just a little bit longer in regards to the gameplay itself. The Muslim moving down to his third base, of course, sending those SCVs down. And we have the small little bio ball regrouping. Though we have, of course, the level two and armor level two for actually the muslim a little behind though uh tails is already on his level three so uh, this really doesn't look very positive in regards to the muslim of course you gotta count in that the terran units in general are more stronger in terms of strength wise even though the number might be slightly less but it seems uh, that uh, the mixture is pretty good you have a couple of archons and the few sentries i do believe only two sentries though he really needs a little bit more sentries i don't know why he didn't send in two three more this uh, pylon is still up so it's pretty making uh, his life is substantially easier in regards to warping in the units. Where was that observer? Here it is. A very nice observer placement, as I do believe it is his... What is the second observer? Yes, he has two. No, no, where, where are they? High Templar. For some odd reason, I can't seem to find him. Sentry, High Templar, Stalker. Anyways, the observer placement here is pretty good. Like this, you can see any medevac drops in regards to the Muslim. So any any medevac that's going to come from the bottom left side, this observer will pick it out and he should be able to pick it off. So this is pretty interesting to see. Here come those bunkers and a new four front line in regards to protecting those three bases. Even though that this base does have another entrance, so I don't really know that this is the best way, especially in regards to going up against the Protoss units, uh, because the Protoss units thrives on having smaller entries into they, they, they like to sort of funnel their units in, that's why they have the sentries in play with those force fields. It would have been maybe better to make a line of the bunkers from this side and uh, force the Protoss unit to Protoss units to go from the other side. But again, you know, let's see if the Muslim's tactics pays off. Here comes the push, as I said, and this is really pointless. They're gonna push in from down. Steamed units, just a few steamed units. If he pushed, though, he would have really wiped these units out and took him down third base pretty easily in terms of that. Here comes the Psionic Storm online, so we should see those Dark Templars actually coming in instead of those archons sooner or later to start putting those sign of stones down bunker drops not even not even not even uh, what do you call it armed up bunker completely empty bunkers i really have no idea why the hell he did this he could have at least placed a few units in there in regards two bunkers drop four ways to be resources still units really pointless again and we have a few zealots here harassing the left side of the base that's why the muslims really confused in regards to which way to push third bunker drop the muslim decides he's gonna push down in regards to this sense I do believe uh, that MVP Tails will take this opportunity and push up again for up. He is having a little bit of dilemma since we do have two openings as well. Here's the pylon. Here comes those small little few units, zealot units that come into the third base to harass 
the Muslim in that sense. Here comes the push. Will the push come? He should push out. And Mikhail's is really at an advantage. He might be waiting in to warp in more of these zealots to push up from the side as well. Here comes steamed up. Really big, big bio ball in terms. Here comes the Dark Templar. Storm should be coming down any second. Here comes the Storm. A little first storm. Very good for second and third storm. A lot of buy units drop. Here comes the charge zealots. He did drop those. Uh, Dark Templars actually, but he did take quite 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 a hefty amount of damage. The Muslim is actually pushing forward. He realizes it's now now is the time to push. He is pushing forward, pushing forward. MVP Tails is a little nervous. Yeah, here comes the robotics facility. He's gonna place uh, those uh, or start production of this Colossus to actually fight back this massive bio ball as MVP Tails realize that this is only gonna be a bio ball. Will he place down any more Cyanic Storms? Where was that Dark Templar? Here comes the Dark Templar. Second pylon drops due to the medevac high ground effect. I do believe that this nexus will drop as well. Here comes the cyanic storm from the Dark Templar. Very nice place for splits. I hear more snipes coming from the ghosts. This uh, nexus is most probably going to drop. Medevac is getting moved to the side itself. I don't know why again they're not moved in the center of the bio ball as the majority of the units themselves are placed there. No production from any details though. I'm really confused what exactly he's trying to do here. He's just holding out and waiting to see two zealots in production. Now he's started production. This is really, I don't know, miss again. I'm not sure exactly what what's going through him. Details his head. Here comes that shield. Another psionic storm from the Dark Temple. Add another one. A snipe coming down from the ghost itself. More psionic storms coming down. A last stim really took, took a lot of damage in regards to the stim research. He did actually flank. Very nice movements from every details. He actually flanked with the stalkers. He should be able to mop up the rest of his fireball. One more psionic storm would be really nice if you put it in the center. Actually, then uh, the Muslims steamed up and made those units pretty much weak. The Muslims having a bad habit of steaming up those units quite a lot, especially at uh, the last uh, lifespan, really reducing the survival chance and the ability to absorb that damage. Here come the three goats. He did snipe. Three more snipes come down. Is he going to load up these ghosts and move away? Yes, he is going to load up these ghosts and move away. Here comes the small little Protoss ball from MVP Tails. We have the cloak, of course, coming online for that ghost academy. We had, of course, a few stalkers in play here, just taking out the base itself. Uh, no real reaction from, actually, the Muslim. The Muslim just moved all his barracks to the right side and He's not really doing anything much, he just re repositioned his base to the right side and is actually busy taking care of this. Here comes, of course, the observer. Just to take a look at where exactly is still all this, where are all these reinforcements coming from, in other words. So, this is pretty interesting to see. We have one orc on here, it should be able to take out these SCVs. I'm not really sure what the Muslim is doing, he's just really going in all out. He just doesn't want to give out, he doesn't really care. He's just going in all out. He really wants to prove a point that he can go in. There's the third command center. He actually moved it up. And uh, nothing really happening in regards to uh, both players. As you can see that uh, both of their primary and secondary bases have literally been mined out. So they're all relying on their third bases to start mining. Look at all those mules. This should really kick start the Muslim's economy and he should be able to get those marines really jumping out really as quickly as possible and this base is really halting any production from Tail's side. Tail really needs to get this base up. You can see those drones still a long distance mining. Here comes that really minor Terran bio ball but I do believe that we should see some uh Where is it? We should see some Colossus in place. Still nothing in regards. Here comes the perfect scan from the Muslim being able to scan out the whole Protoss army from MVP Tail's side. The Muslim realizing he really doesn't have enough to, uh, up to go against this. Obviously he's just going to retreat. More barracks coming online. How many does he have in total now? We have around four, five, six, seven, eight, eight racks in total in regards to the Muslim really going all out in regards to this push. The stalker's still going out. I don't know why he doesn't attack the starport since it's the only starport he has. He would really hamper the Muslims production in regards to the actual uh, medevacs but I do believe uh, that actually the Muslim Tails should know yes Tails has everything scouted attack. out I don't know why he knows this is the last starport I guess Tails is just nervous and trying to keep up with his own uh, base currently at the moment since he got the third base dropped and his actual economy is completely grinded to a halt so he really doesn't really care much in regards to these stalkers as you see now the actual uh, starting to attack the reactor of the actual starport itself the starport i don't know if it will pick up will it pick up no i don't believe that uh, the muslim cares this is an all-out push as you can see the muslim is not really doing much in regards to saving the starport i do believe this is an all-out push so here it is 
all in or all out this is we're gonna see what exactly happens down here we do have where, where was it yeah very nice placement of the, the high templar you should be able to storm down a few more cyanic storms will the cyanic storm come sniper comes down takes out one of them here comes the cyanic storm from the dark templar on the top right side stim research very nice storm again coming down and another storm takes out the ghost really nicely really this high templar is really taking out of these units pretty well another steam the Muslim really needs to keep these units alive as much as possible. I don't know if the Muslim is really again his supply drop decreased as the stalker seemed to be taken out of his base pretty easily and the Muslim is not really reacting to it. As you can see he put in thermal lances coming on the line and the first Colossus. This should be at the moment the Colossus first Colossus is out. He should be easily taken out of this bio ball. This is it, you know, make or break. I do believe the Muslim is gonna lose in regards to this. The moment he sees the Colossus, he should call it a GG. Here comes the observer. He spots all his units. Will the actual High Templar survive? I don't know. Even though he gives the actual very nice Sonic Storm drops, this is going to be mopped up pretty easily. Now they're going to retreat. Archons are moving forward, retreating actually in this case. Here comes two more Colossus. That's it. Sonic Storm gets dropped. Buy units getting split up. He actually loads up the units by mistake. Again, reducing the amount of units on the field. He drops the units too late. He steamed up a little bit too much. They're already damaged. The Muslim calls it a good game. And that's the end of this game in regards to the Muslim versus the Gales. Well, overall, it was a pretty nice game itself but i do believe a lot of uh, mismicro management from the muslim caused him to fail this game well that's it happy gaming and see you again in my next video take care bye